Hi guys, I'm Struxon, you're still you, and welcome to another part of my Toontown Let's Play. So first and foremost, I'm really happy that Toontown dedicates a day to getting mercilessly beaten with pies. Time to pick our first task of the day. So our first task is to go out and beat two level 2 plus cogs. There was basically, there was a choice between a few tasks like beat two bloodsuckers and there was one to help Professor Pete, but I think this will probably be the fastest and best one to get us started. So we've already found our first level 2 plus cogs, so we're just going to approach it now. So something I actually wanted to talk about today was the Toontown chat system. As things are in Toontown, you get speed chat and then you get speed chat plus. It didn't always actually used to be this way. A long time ago, when the game first was released, you only actually got speed chat. So you were only able to talk using the phrases that they gave you out of this list. That's our first task of the day done. The reason that Disney originally restricted you to such a small set of words was because Toontown was probably the biggest mass experiment ever done on kids since the dawn of MMORPGs. So everyone knows that the anonymous nature of the internet can really bring out the worst in people. Disney knew that when they were making Toontown, they were potentially susceptible hundreds of thousands of kids to the influence of hundreds of thousands of other people. This is something they knew they had to be extremely careful of. It is possible that kids might take things a little bit too seriously, but I don't know about you guys, but as a parent, if I was to walk into the computer room and see my kid playing on a game online and then see that some guy was telling him to F off because he picked the wrong gag or something. That would be it. I would just be saying that's it, no more of that game for you. Go outside and play with the football, you scrub. But the point remains that the look and aesthetics and the communication of the game is probably something that's been more important to Toontown than it's ever been to any MMORPG in history. Toontown has been a game that's not only had to appeal to the younger generation but also the older generation and that's something that's extremely difficult to do. Nevertheless, speed chat was a hugely important part of the early days of Toontown. Something that's quite interesting to me about speed chat is the fact that over the whole speed chat there's basically no way of insulting anyone apart from one. The only insult in the entire speed chat bar is something that can be seen as little more than a joke. This is a really good idea in my opinion because it gives people a way to vent their frustrations that isn't going to upset anyone else. If anything, it's more likely to actually make the target laugh than feel upset. I was actually taking a look over the history of Toontown earlier on and actually saw that in the first year of its creation, Toontown had about six or seven children's game of the year awards or something like that. Speed chat plus is probably a really good reason for that. That's us now got our throw to level 3 as well, so that's both our gags level 3. Now we need to go see Professor Wiggle for a 2 point laugh boost. When I actually started playing Toontown, well this was probably back in 2003, obviously back then there wasn't any speed chat plus at all, no matter whether you changed any of the count settings or not. The blue chat button only existed for the option of having true friends, which was when if you had a friend in real life then you could connect with them and then you could send over a friend code and uh, they still have that feature in the game and this would mean that you could communicate them using any sort of words or phrases you wanted to. When Speed Chat Plus actually came out, I didn't even know it was coming out. I didn't even know it was out at all when it was out. For about three years of Speed Chat Plus being out, I played the game with just Speed Chat. Even the fact that people would be going whiff and quack and stuff all the time never ticked me off that there was another way of communicating within the game. When I found out that Speed Chat Plus existed, I was definitely really excited. Not being able to use Speed Chat Plus though didn't stop me playing the game for the first four or five years, and it wouldn't have stopped me from continuing to play right up until the closure of Toontown itself. Why is speed chat still around is probably a question that's on a lot of the minds of players. The first and most obvious response to this question is that there's some easter eggs in the game which you can't access without speed chat plus. The main reason is just because it allows you access to a lot of phrases that you would be saying anyway. It just means that you don't have to type them out. The truth is, it's not obtrusive to the game and it still carries out a useful purpose. And for me personally, it also delivers on some of the nostalgia of the original game. Anyway, that's it for this episode. So like the video if you liked it. If you didn't like the video, then like the video. And subscribe for a million free iPads. See you guys next time.